What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to set up Google cold conversion tracking if you are promoting only cold only ads or using cold extensions. I did make a previous video on setting up cold conversions, and that was the second option, which was really useful if you are not necessarily promoting using cold only ads, but any ads, and you would have been able to track conversions that way, again, no matter what type of ads you're promoting, whether it's cold only ads or regular ads where you just have a website. In this video, I want to show you the easier way. So here I am in my Google Ads account. Let's go into tools and I'm going to go into conversions. And I have already set up some sample conversions here, but I'm going to click on this little plus sign here. I'm going to select phone calls and now I'm going to select call from using call extensions or call only ads. I'll select continue. I'll enter a name. This is a YouTube test name. Um, let's make it something more realistic. So this is specifically useful if you have many different campaigns and the pixel fires for when you get paid at different uh, durations. So uh, I'll get to that in a second. So Here's the name. So you can enter a value. So suppose you make, you know, $17 for uh, this conversion, but it doesn't really matter. For the count, you can indicate whether you want uh, every single conversion to be counted. So if one person bought, you know, five times, it'll show up as five conversions. Or um, if you have one person buy five times, it will only count it as one conversion. Um, so that's up to you how you want to do it. Normally, you would only go with this option. Because if you're promoting call only ads, people can't buy five times, right? Now here's where the where the cool part is, and that's the call length. So if you are promoting a violin product and the pixel fires at 60 seconds plus, you would enter 60 seconds here. Now I like to enter a little bit extra just in case and to give me a more accurate sense of what works or not. So I maybe add 10, 15 seconds extra. Um, for the purpose of this example, let's say it's 100 seconds, okay? So I get paid. Uh, if someone, say, has a call of a minute 30 plus, and I added a 10 extra seconds. Now, there's a conversion window. So if somebody clicks your ad and calls X days later, so let's say it's you know 60 days later or two weeks later or th one week later, will that still count as a conversion? If you set it to 30 days, if someone calls your ad now or, um, yeah, so say they call now and then they call again 29 days later, that click will record that conversion. Um, if you have it at 30 days, right? So that's the length de uh, determined for you. Um, you can leave that as as on. Of course, this will be a, a version, so we're going to just say yes to that. Attribution model, last click, leave that as on, and click create and continue. And that's it. So we don't have to include any code. So this is a far easier way of doing it. Um, and as you can see here, we have violin conversions. Now, all of these differ. So again, imagine I have three campaigns. This one I get paid for any call that lasts over 30 seconds, this one over 60 seconds, this one over a minute 30, right? So now that we've done that, I can go back. You would create a campaign, follow my other video on how to create a call only campaign. I'll have the link up above, follow that. But what you would do once you do have the campaign, I'm gonna click on add. And what you would select here now at the bottom is you would select the conversion action. So in this case, it's, it's piano, but let's suppose you're promoting a violin product now. I'm going to select violin conversions. And now, um, whenever a call lasts only longer than a minute 30 or um, a minute 40 in our case, what I've set up, will I show up a conversion? So I would select violin for this one. If I'm promoting a piano product, I'm going to select piano conversion. If I'm promoting a guitar, I'm going to select a guitar conversion and so on and so forth. So that to make sure that uh, the conversions are accurate for each campaign, because you don't want the same duration for all of your campaigns because durations do differ for when you get paid if you're promoting pay per campaigns. But that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, you might like my playlists on Google, Facebook, and Microsoft ads. I'll put some links up above, which will get you started from start to finish how to create your campaigns and accounts from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.